He was the most famous person in his time. I mean, the English paper said that when people looked back at the turn of the century, years from then, they would remember only one name, Alberto Santos Dumont. In many quarters, he was seen as far superior to the Wrights, indeed, as the inventor of flight. He was that legendary figure, 5'4", something like that, but larger than life at the same time, who just reached out and grabbed the public imagination by the lapels. So who exactly was Alberto Santos Dumont? Well, he was born in Brazil on July 20th, 1873. His French father was an engineer and an inventor. Santos Dumont's father moved the family to Europe. At 17, Alberto left his family for Paris. He started flying by hiring an experienced balloon pilot. Alberto Santos Dumont, un aviador brasileño e inventor residente en Francia, quien fue el primer hombre en despegar a bordo de un avión impulsado por un motor aeronáutico. À l'époque, ce fut plus difficile aujourd'hui, comme nous le montre Tanguy Squazek et Audrey Nathalisi. Santos Dumont réussit le 7 septembre 1906 à voler une seconde. Le 13 septembre, il franchit 10 mètres. Le 23 octobre, 50 mètres. C'était le temps des pionniers de l'air. Il y a 100 ans, Alberto Santos Dumont effectuait le premier vol homologué d'un engin plus lourd que l'air. Le ciel était le limite. Et c'était le pensement d'un des personnages les plus importants de l'histoire de l'aviation. Tout ça... Graças a um dia muito especial. Em 23 de outubro de 1906, um voo histórico na França, o voo do 14 bis. Alberto Santos Dumont tornou-se o primeiro homem no mundo a voar em aparelho mais pesado do que o ar. As a teenager, moved to France and who, in October of 1906, flew an ungainly white machine, 196 feet, across a large field in Paris. The Brazilian was named Alberto Santos Dumont, and this is his story. Yet when modern flight was born little more than a century ago, it was Santos who carried the world aloft on his frail and troubled shoulders. Wings of Madness, right now, on Nova.